why do kids not talk to their family anymore? Now, I don't know if it's just my family or the people I hear, but I noticed my family doesn't talk to my like other family anymore. Like my family does not talk to other family members. My cousins will not talk to my grandparents. My grandparents can't even talk to my cousins because they have no communication with them because they don't add them on anything or like Facebook. They don't even have them on Facebook, so none of that. And I just feel like it's social media. I feel like social media is somehow brainwashing people and then just not talking to your family anymore. I know some people that can't even talk to their mom without being embarrassed. I know people that can't talk to their dad without being embarrassed. I know people that won't even talk to their dad when their dad has done nothing wrong to them. Those people, I just feel like social media has done something to them. I don't know what it is. I need to, I guess I need to do research on it, but kids just do not socialize with their family anymore. Kids these days just, kids these days are not the same like they used to be. Games are getting more technologized, you know, getting better, more developed, getting more addictive. Social media is known to make people more addictive because, well, the creators of social media make, try to make it as addictive as possible so they get more and more money from the ads. What does that make you think? Does, does that make you think that maybe parents shouldn't allow social media for that long? Like, should parents allow kids to only have, like, an hour or two a day on social media? I have a sister. She hates me. She hates me to death. Now I know I can be mean to her, but she just doesn't talk to any of us anymore. She barely talks to my mom. She doesn't talk to me. I have a little brother that she hates to death, so she won't even talk to him at all. She yelled at me because I asked her to get up earlier for school. That's starting real soon. She got up at 2.30 p.m. today. 2.30. Now, she used to not be like this. And I know you guys won't care that much, but I just want to explain. Before she really became addictive to her phone, she talked to everybody. <clears throat> she talked to her cousins. She talked to me. She actually like went in my room and just hung out with me. She would be mean to my brother, but... You know, she was nicer. She didn't like actually talk to him and stuff. She talked to my mom. She talked to my grandparents. We would play card games together. But now she just sits there. She does nothing. She's on her phone. No emotion. I don't even see her laugh on her phone. The only time she laughs is and talks to people is if it's her like best friend. But and all of a sudden, they're always she always loses her best friends. This is what social media does. It makes you just not socialize anymore. There is no more socializing on social media. It's just online socializing, which is nothing like real life. People don't people don't see this anymore. I think the only people that see it are parents. I was born in 2004, and I still don't think people my age don't understand it either. They don't see it. They don't see what social media does. I got friends at school that just watch TikTok all day. No emotion. Just <clears throat> when something's funny. That's it. That's all they do. Their whole emotion is just... <clears throat> the only time they talk is when they're sharing a funny video. And then when you start asking them real questions, they go, Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Do you, if you have kids one day, do you want them to be like that? Do you want them to be someone that just doesn't talk to anybody? You know, social media also, a lot of people, not some, but like a lot of people just can't talk to girls anymore because of social media. Is that what you want you to be? Is that what you want your kid to be? Your future generation? A family? Or do you want them to be someone who... No, they need to get off social media. Someone that needs to know, yeah, I don't need to be on this that long. I need to do actual stuff. Kids these days don't even play games anymore. 
Like, some of them, I know, just quit playing games and just stay on their phone all day. Like, at least games does something, you know? At least you're doing something on a game. When you're on social media, you don't earn anything. What do you earn on social media? A snap score that goes up? Wow. Fun. You know, I used to be like, wow, people get, like, a million snap score. Now I'm like, are you, that's pathetic. A million snap score? Dude, get off your phone. Please go do something. And the people, if anyone watching this that thinks snap score and stuff is cool, well, guess what? You're going to believe that I'm stupid, I'm an idiot, I'm a nerd who doesn't do anything, he's never going to have a future. That's that's what these people think like. They don't think like, like normal people do. You've heard your grandparents say like, kids these days don't know any better. They don't know what they like what life used to be like. That's because life used to be better basically. Like we got new technology, new medicine, new entertainment, and somehow it was still better back then. Maybe if it wasn't for social media. Maybe if it wasn't for the corrupt social media people making it so addictive that maybe it would have been better. No more no one ever socializes anymore. It just just makes me question life at this point. Like what what's the future gonna be like? What is five years from now? Is my sister even gonna talk to anybody that I know? Like, it, is your family members is does your family members are, are they addicted to social media too? Are they getting worse? Like do they not socialize either? Like all these people seem to just give up. A lot of them well, if you didn't know, self, like having a cell phone addiction makes you depressed. It does. I've seen it. I've seen people say how bad it is. I've seen people have a cell phone addiction just just hate their life. They act like nothing is good in life. I know some people that live in a nice house, but they have a cell phone addiction and they think their life is useless. It's horrible. They don't do any. I know people that go on vacation. That live in a nice house. That make money. And they still think their life is terrible. All because they have a cell phone addiction. I don't know if it's social media telling you that you're pathetic. Now I know a lot of people. It is social media because well. They see these models. They see someone more muscular. They see someone skinnier that has better abs. They see these people and get jealous. And think I'll never be like that. So they get unmotivated. They lose their confidence. They think they're nothing. They can never talk to a girl. Or a girl can never talk to a guy because of social media. Now, if I become a parent, most definitely will I always be sure they don't get too much social media time. Now, I might let them play games until like a certain age where I'm like, okay, man, you got to stop playing. Because I used to play games all the time. Why be a hypocrite and don't let them play, you know? Like, it's not fair to them. So, I am I would let them play games. But I wouldn't really let them on social media. I won't, I won't let... If I have kids, I won't let them have social media until about probably 16 years old. 16. And not, even that's pushing it today. But, you know, everyone has a phone. Like, I've seen 8-year-olds have, like, a Samsung 20. An iPhone 12. Like, 8-year-olds. What are they doing on that phone? And guess what they're on? TikTok. TikTok. Child pornography app. The Chinese app that they're watching you, tracking you. TikTok. That app. The most addictive app I've ever downloaded before. I deleted that app in December of 2021. Best decision of my life. I've never been so much happier. I, I, I just do so much more. So I... I talk to people more, I socialize them more, I read more, I study more. Just TikTok has just ruined that for everybody. I, my sister, it isn't just my sister, but they're on their phone like, I would say, I think she's on, she was on it for like seven hours a day on TikTok and like five hours Snapchat. Five hours Snapchat, a thing where you just snap people. And maybe, maybe communicate with them. 
Half the people that I know that have a high snap score don't even like communicate. They just send a wall pick or a forehead pick. How is that fun? What is so useful about that? I wish I could just talk to my young self that would think that the Snapchat is okay and just be like, what do you, why? Why do you want to have a high snap score? Is it so people think that you're popular? If people accept you because of high snap score, I don't think you should be accepting them into your life. Why would you want a girlfriend that only likes you because you're popular? You know where that gets you? You know where that gets you? I'll let you think about it. But the, I, I just want you guys to understand this video. This is terrible. Like, I can't even talk to my sister without her hating me. I One time I was going up my stairs, and she seen me and just yelled at me. She started arguing with me, and I didn't even say anything. And it wasn't even about anything that I've done. That is, That is what a cell phone addiction has done to my sister. Social media, TikTok, friends that are also addicted. Cell phone addicts hang out with cell phone addicts. Snapchat addicts, snap, Snapchat addicts, you know, like they just continuously snap, 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 snap. It just never stops. That's what I did last year in the summer. I just sat there and snapped people because I didn't know what to do. I know how to be productive. I never like cared enough. I always thought I was just gonna be like a full like I have a full time job, you know, never worry about anything. I could maybe invest a few. I, I didn't even know about investing last year. I was seventeen years old and didn't even know about investing. I didn't know how to save. I didn't even know what a checking account really was. Like I kinda did at that time, but I really didn't know. I didn't know about how important investing was. I didn't know about index funds, saving funds retirement funds. I didn't even know about a saving plan. Like, I knew nothing. I had one job before, like, when I was like, yeah, 16, and I got fired. I got fired because no one liked me. I don't know. I still don't understand why they hated me. I think it's because I was happy. I don't know. I was, I was a happy 16-year-old. I looked good because I lifted, and the, the waitresses hated me. I worked there for two days, and I was already being called retarded behind my back because I didn't know how to do stuff. Working at a restaurant on the second day, and people are calling, like, managers are calling me retarded because I didn't know how to do something. Are you kidding me? Friends. I had a friend that t I basically talked behind my back. When I got fired from there on the ninth day, he just said I did absolutely nothing. He said I did nothing. Like, I didn't work at all. He's also a cell phone addict. And I feel like people that are cell phone addicts just are not nice people either. They don't get off their phone. They have nothing better to do. I don't know if they just hate their life so much that they just take it back on everybody and become bullies. But they just don't care. I think that's all I have for this video. It's about 14 minutes long. Oh, if some of you guys stay, that's amazing. That's never been done before on this channel, but thank you. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you learned something. Because I need to study more, I guess, on all this socializing stuff. So, yeah, that's it. I'm at um, three subscribers right now. I hope when you're reading this, I'm at four, at least. That's all I got. See you guys in the next video tomorrow. Bye.